Hi everyone, I'm Denise Brown from HealingOurWay.com. Today I'm going to offer you an idea called a daily healing plan. So let's take a look, closer look at what this could be. So I think about healing and I think about it as a process and I think it could be a three-step process. And it could be a three-step process that we re revisit every day or throughout our day, depending on how our day is going. So I think about the first step in the process is to really think about what we're healing through. If you've had a significant loss, obviously your answer is, oh my gosh, well, I'm healing through a family member's death. But there might be other losses during your day that you wanna pay attention to because they need healing as well. Sometimes the healing feels like it just builds up, right? And it's just this, insurmountable mountain of healing. However, if we can break it down, I think it can feel like it's not too big for us. So this idea of what we're healing through is about the big loss, but also the other losses and paying attention to them. You don't necessarily have to feel like, oh, I've got to take care of all these losses at once, but I think it's important to just be aware of them. So for instance, maybe there's a day where you wake up and think, oh my gosh, today's this significant day because of this significant event. And it feels like it's piling on to a significant loss. Well, maybe if you think, you know what, I'm just gonna really take care of myself around this loss, which then will take care of that bigger loss throughout the day for you. Okay, so we think about what we're healing through, and then we think about what we're healing with, meaning what are the healthy, healthy coping strategies that we can use to help us heal through? It could be for you a daily walk with your dog. That's what helps you feel like, okay, I'm being taken care of in this moment. Maybe it is taking a moment at 3 p.m. to enjoy a cup, a cup of hot tea. Last night we had one of our twice a month grieving groups and we talked about sleep and how hard it can be to fall asleep at night. And Kathy, who's one of our certified caregiving consultants and co-facilitates the group with me, talked about audiobooks as something really helpful for her. So she listens to an audiobook before she falls asleep. So she's healing through insomnia with audiobooks. Another support group member talked about how she was healing through anxiety before sleep with a Netflix series that was particularly entertaining for her. It could be that you're healing with a book or your faith. or a routine during your day. It could be that you're healing with a therapist, a support group, a friend who understands. But as you start to pay attention to what helps you heal with, you start to build up a list and they become options you can go to when the losses feel really difficult. And it could be that one coping strategy is particularly helpful for one type of loss. For instance, let's say you're healing through a divorce. And one of the losses you feel is the loss of a community. Perhaps you spent a lot of time with other couples and now that's gone. So you could be healing through loneliness with a different kind of group like a support group. And that feels like it offsets the loss. There's a gain that helps manage the loss. So we're healing through with help, healthy strategies that, and that connect us to comfort. And then I think it's helpful to think about a destination where are we healing to? It could be forgiveness, 
or peace of mind or a better tomorrow or just this afternoon, depending on how bad the morning was. I think in many ways what we're healing too is love. If we've had a significant loss, it's typically a loss of love in our life. And we're healing to maybe a different way love appears in our life and in our day or a different form it takes or a different way to connect to that love. So it could be memories that we want to heal to. And again, as you think about this process, it becomes a strategy to manage a loss. And that strategy changes depending on what the loss is. And the goal again is to give you some options. So you don't feel like you're completely powerless to the grieving you have something you can go to, this process of healing through with a healthy strategy so that you can get to even the next moment. So there is a daily healing plan that I created. I'll show you what that looks like. You can download it from healingourway.com. You can use it as it is. You can print it out and decide, okay, every week I'm going to think about what a healing plan could be. You could use this template for journaling. So maybe you don't write on this particular template, but you use it in a journal. And maybe you decide it becomes something like a routine for you. So you, when you wake up on a Monday morning and you know something is happening that day that might be difficult for you, you could think about, okay, what's the process I'm going to use so I take care of myself during that difficult moment, those difficult times. I think it's just really helpful to think that we can take care of ourselves during grief. And a plan can help us figure out what are we going to do to make sure we take care of ourselves? What are we going to use? What's our go-to strategy? And again, because every day might feel different, you can use this plan for each day. If, if it even feels like, you know what, it's moments during the, the day that I, I need a different plan, then use it for those moments. Maybe there are certain times during the day where you really miss your family member. You just feel like, oh my gosh, this longing is so difficult for me. So you might be feeling like, okay, you're healing through this significant missing and you're going to heal with a walk with the dog and you're going to heal to love. So again, you can use it for day, the day or times during the day or both. And again, it could be this template that you use. It could be a journal and I'll show you something else that you could think about doing. So if you notice, I have this flip chart, white piece of paper hanging up on my wall. And then I have all these sticky notes. You could create a, a similar kind of system. You could have three flip chart pieces of paper and you could call one healing through, the second one healing with, and the third one healing to. And you could take three different colors of sticky notes and as you think about what you're healing through, write it down, put that sticky note up on that one white piece of paper. And then as you think about different strategies that help you heal through, write down each individual strategy and post it up on the second piece of paper. And then when you realize what you're healing through, what you're healing to, write down all the different things you're healing to and then put it up on that white piece of paper. And then you have inspiration. So when you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm really healing through a bad day today, you can look at the options you have that you can use to heal with. And then you can look at the options of what you're healing to and put together a strategy to manage that day, that moment, that situation, that experience. It's about creating different strategies, knowing that there are several losses 
you're managing, and it can feel overwhelming. And hopefully this process helps you feel like there's a way to control it, even just a little bit, so it doesn't feel so out of control for you. Again, you can go to healingourway.com to download the template. And please feel free to share your healing process. If you use a template like what I've created for you, take a photo and upload it so that we can see what you're using, what it looks like for you. If you create a strategy like the sticky notes on three pieces of paper, take a picture of that and upload it and share it with us. We'd love to really know what the process is. On healingourway.com, you can blog, you can upload artwork, you can upload your daily healing plan, you can connect with us in our forum. The goal is to stay connected to a community that understands. So when you have a chance, visit healingourway.com. Let us know about your healing plan. And if you feel comfortable, take a photo of it and share it with us. We'd love to see and we'd love to celebrate what you're doing in order to take care of yourself on a daily basis. Thanks so much. I'm Denise Brown. Take care. Bye-bye.